welcome to another little section of ASFN Fishing and we thank you for watching. Thank you for everybody that subscribed already. If you haven't, please subscribe. Hit that bell button to be notified every time we upload a video. And as mentioned in previous videos, we upload a minimum of five videos a week. We've got close to 1,700 videos on this channel already, all with content to assist anglers out there to get better results in a variety of species areas, fishing sessions, baits, um, rigs, traces, methods, everything, you name it, we cover it going forward in, in multiple facets of fishing. All right, guys, now, and one of the requests I received, we're still in lockdown, one of the requests I received is to, to show you guys, or to show a proper bung trace where you're fishing when you're shad off a deep water point and the shad's feeding in the upper water column. The guys tend to also, it's quite nice for tangle free fishing when there's a lot of guys fishing. Um, they fish a bung, a big bung, and they attach their shad trace. Guys, if you want to see how I made these traces, uh, the links are below in the description of the actual shad traces. This is one I made. This is a more a chain gang to hold the sardine. This particular one, this will go through the mouth between the eyes of the sardine to hold it, and this you'll just push and wedge into the body. And then you can add a bit of cotton on this particular trace. And then all you're going to do with this is you're going to add 40, 50, 60, 70 centimeters of monofilament in between. Now this particular one, as you can see, has got two swivels, which allows you, you can put on the one, on this one for instance, you can put a small little ball sinker to take it down. The bait and the other one you can leave without a sinker or put a bit of a float which I'll demonstrate now so you can fish two shad baits if you want to keep in mind you're going to need a bit of a, a, a rod with a bit better backbone if you're going to cast two sardines and then what I'll do is I'll just measure this 55 centimeters I will actually go to about 80 centimeters when I fish this so quite a bit longer and then if you want to let it down let me just grab a little ball sinker you'll take one of these small little teardrop sinkers and you'll slide it up with the thin part first so that the butt will end up on the swivel or in front of your bait and that just takes it down into the water column quicker than without a sinker. Now I'll add a little bead just to protect my uh, knot. That sinker hopping or hitting the knot repeatedly could weaken your knot. So you just add a little bead. You tie a trace to that with a standard figure of eight. You wet your knot, cut the tag off, and your main leader line from your rod will tie to that. And you'll cast it in like that. Now you see this all already hooks itself. There's no way this is going to miss a shad. And your bait will be dangling on that under your float in the water. Now how you fish this is you'll cast it out and you'll keep on taking up the slack so you've got almost a connection with your bung all right you're not going to wind it through the water and surf it so surf, surf it through the water or pull it fast you are slowly just going to take up the slack and keep connected with your bait what this bung does and why it's so effective is when the shad grabs this this because of the buoyancy goes under the water and pulls back so it sets your hook sometimes and it gives you enough time to realize you've got a bite because shad taylor uh, bluefish as in america feed so fast it gives you enough time to actually set that hook which set it properly after it's already been set by the bung so this is a very very effective way what the guys are also doing is using tennis balls so what you'll have to do is you'll have to build your own little shaft using beads on each side so that it doesn't pull through but you'll need a, a fairly strong stainless steel to push through the tennis ball 
tire swivel will it bead with a swivel on this side and the same on that side and you use a tennis ball that's quite popular under the guys as well for the for the float fishing or bung fishing as we refer to it so yes guys shad season is around the corner everybody's waiting for that as it's probably the most targeted species in South Africa when it comes to saltwater fishing uh, every year uh, we've got hundreds and thousands of anglers coming from the inland as well as the coastal guys that will be targeting the shad that runs from June here in South Africa, starts off in June and runs right through October till the season closes until I think the 1st of December. Ooh, under correction, I'll go check that. Where it opens again and then you get those bigger shades like we got this year. And they still were getting them just before lockdown. There were still reports of guys getting some of those bigger shad. So best part of our year, there's shad around on our coast. Uh, our Cape province right around from Cape Town right around up to Cozy Bay we get them so every angler in South Africa if they do saltwater or at one stage or another will be targeting shad and uh, this is one of the very effective ways of doing that but thank you for watching remember to subscribe remember to like the video that really helps us and hit that notification little bell button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video thank you for watching